Hi everyone, how are you doing today? In today's video, I will be sharing with you my two main tips to learn any language, no matter at what level you are at currently. So you're on currently. <laughs> anyway, so tip number one, you are going to have to build a vocab list every week. Yes, every week, it's enough, trust me. I used to build my own vocab list with 20 words, but if 20 is too much because you work or you're super busy, that's fine, do 10, 10 words then. So minimum 10 words and maximum 20 words. And within the 10 words, so let's say you are choosing to learn 10 words a week, so within the 10 words, two of these will be phrases. Let me explain why. When you don't know a language at all, let's say you're starting from scratch, you want to learn, um, you want to have the ready-made phrases you will use when, when you have a, an opportunity to use them. And because you don't speak the language, you don't know the grammar, you don't know the verbs, you want to have ready-made phrases for when you will need them. So this could be, for example, I like uh, going to the market to buy fruit. Really, it could be anything. Uh, for example, I swim twice a week. Just think, use your imagination and think of two phrases. So that, that will mean you'll have eight words, two phrases, which gives a total of 10 in your vocab list. Now, how do you build your vocab list, you're going to ask. That's very easy. Either you think of a word at the top of your head and you're like, okay, I would like to know this word. Any word could be. It could be animals, fruit and vegetables, food, uh, housing, anything, anything. It could be verbs, could be adverbs, you name it. Write it down. Write eight words down. And then find a translation in a dictionary or online and write the translation down. Very easy. And then the two phrases, invent your phrase and then put the translation on the other side of the paper. Trust me, just by reading it, you're gonna, it's gonna, your brain is gonna absorb the information without trying too hard, but you still want to test yourself. Put your hand on one side, test yourself, ask maybe a family member to test you. And if you can't, then what I used to do when I couldn't, I would just take a piece of paper, write all of, of, uh, of the words on one side, and then I had to write without looking at the answers, write everything. And I used to test myself. When I had it wrong, I would carry on, do it again, do it again, uh, until it was all right. Uh, so what else did I wanna say? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, now let me explain why it's important to put two phrases in the vocab lists. As I said, if you're new to a language, you won't know how to put, how to use grammar, how to use conjugation and words together if you're really, you know, at the scratch. So when you learn the two phrases of by heart, the more you learn vocab, vocabulary, the more you can switch any word in the phrase to make a new phrase. So then you have, so in this, so let's say my phrase was, I like green apples. Well, maybe in one of the vocab lists, you will learn the, the word red and you will change green with red. So I like red apples. Things that like, it's very easy, the principle is very easy, and trust me, it will be very useful when you'll have more, uh, a richer vocabulary, you're gonna, ha you're gonna be able to, with all the phrases you've learned, with time, to switch any word in, within your phrases. That helps a lot. Okay, so, once you've got vocab, then the grammar makes so much more sense because you actually understand. When you're new to a language, learning the grammar, you are not going really to understand a lot because you don't have the vocabulary to use it, to put it into practice. 
So it's super important to learn your vocab lists and then in parallel learn your grammar if you want to be really good at the language then you need to learn grammar but if you just want to be basic that's the vocab lists and two phrases is really a very good tip a very good tip so try it and don't be lazy with it you don't want to you don't want to you want to look at it every day because if you don't it's not serious enough. You have to be perseverant with a language. Not just with a language, but with anything you want to learn, you have to be perseverant. Uh, so, yeah, and you know what? Learning a language is learning off by heart. It's really learning off by heart. And then kicking in the grammar is just making your language even more perfect. You see what I mean? So learn off by heart. Now, if you have no inspiration to build your vocab lists, I have an app that can help. Basically, it's an app where you, when you unlock your phone, the app will show up and you will learn a word. It will show you a word and the translation of the language you want to learn. So I wouldn't recommend this to learn a language, but it's nice to have if you just want a you know, word pop popping up. But it's not great to learn the language because usually when you unlock your phone, you have something specific to do. You either want to call someone or, you know, do something so you don't have the time to really sit on it. It's just a pop-up thing and then you unlock your phone and it, the, the screen goes away. But it's a, good, it's a good way to have word inspiration to build your vocab list. The app is called WordBit. Look it up. Um, maybe if you just want to build your vocab lists, as I said, use it. It's a good tool, but don't use it instead of a vocab list because it's not going to work. Okay, now tip number two is, you know, the sticky pads, you, you just, you know, you, the small pads, you take your pads and even use the words in your vocab list because these are the words you're going to have to learn. So you can either use the words in your vocab lists or just other words from the app or from your imagination. Write it down and then write the translation in uh, next to it and stick it all over your house if you can. If you can't, then stick it all over your room. But let's say you can, then you know if you're if you know in the kitchen you're gonna chop your onions or chop your vegetables there, then just put it in front of you so you have it everywhere you know you're gonna have your eyes on it and this is unconscious learning because just by looking at the information your brain your brain is absorbing so much information that you don't even know and usually when you don't know is i think is when you learn is when you sink in the best um because you're not stressed about it. And when you're stressed about something, it's as if your brain is like blocking you, you have a blockage. But when you when you are you know not stressed out, I feel like you learn better. Your brain absorbs information and you're not even really conscious of it. Obviously you wanna you wanna look at it and, and maybe say it in, in your brain or say it out loud, okay that's the word. For example Apple, okay, pum in French. Apple, pum, okay. Then carry on with your day. Trust me, it's gonna, it's gonna sink in. And you will, that's just another tip for effortless learning, really. Try it. To finish off this video, I want to emphasize the fact that you must be perseverant when you learn a language. And with this technique. So... If you're not, if you're not taking it really seriously, if you're just doing it maybe reading your, your list once a week, listen, if you're uh, super, super, super smart, not smart, but if you have a super, you know, great memory, okay, good. Most people need repetition in order for it to really sink in on the long term. Perseverance is going to be your best friend Really for anything you want to learn, you want to, it's all about repetition and then it becomes a second nature, it's, it stays in. 
so you know be serious about it really look at it every night test yourself put the sticky notes all over and the most important part enjoy it enjoy the process of learning because once you know it you know it and once you know it it's easy you know everything you know is easy but when, when you don't know it if you go back to the time you didn't know it you're like oh my gosh it's so difficult enjoy the process of learning and you will see the the fruits of your efforts uh soon if you're persev perseverant back books guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you use these tips already let me know in the comments if you are going to use them let me know how it's going for you and if you have any more tips to give the anyone who wants to learn a language or learn in general share it with us and i will see you soon for a new video i hope you enjoyed bye bye